What is up, y'all? My name is Chris Porto. I am a coffee professional. So when I saw Barista Simulator come up in my Steam, I knew I had to try it. Um, it's been a few years since I've worked as Barista, mainly at Mini Worlds Tavern. I'm doing marketing and community management and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, we will see if I have any skills remaining. Um, coffee shop, start from scratch, play a realistic Barista experience. We will see uh, while managing and designing your own coffee shop. Very few baristas get to manage and design their own coffee shop. Pa buy all the equipments, expand your shop, and increase popularity. All right. Many Worlds Tavern is the name of the shop. Start the game. Okay, do we live in front of our coffee shop? We do. This is a pretty big building for our first coffee shop. Opening soon. Free Wi-Fi. No smoking. That's good. Okay, utility menu. You can use the useful features related to cleaning or character management in the game by pressing the space bar and opening the radial menu. Okay. Uh, let's get the broom out. Oh, yeah. Broom in. If you have time to lean, you have time to clean. That's what our... That was our motto. Pick up your garbage bag to clean it. Okay, so let's just keep sweeping first. What's that? Cigarette box. Are you seeing this right now? I'm so fast. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 the radial menu. Cigarette. 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 And cigarette box. Oh, okay. Employees only. Okay, use the main computer for cafe management. All right, zero reviews. Uh, oh man, there's a lot. What are we doing here? Okay, we did it. <laughs> Wait for the products to arrive by cargo. Hello. Oh, I can't walk into the street. I was trying to. Okay, we've got a supply box. We're just gonna put it on the shelf here. What was that? Oh, I went down there. Okay, that's fine. Guys, our first espresso machine. Can you feel it? All of my hopes and dreams are wrapped up in this espresso machine here. Okay, uh, Q and E to rotate. I want it to be as close. I could either put it over here or I could put it on this side. It's pretty close to the register. I'll put it right here. Okay. Espresso machines are industrial, fully automatic machines. Um, maybe, maybe, I don't, usually not. It has many functions, but the most basic is pressing ground coffee as espresso. More advanced espresso machines have automatic milk frothers and grinders to speed up your work. Comes with a spout, handle, and a shot glass. Fill the handle spout with grounded coffee. Insert it and start the machine for uh, press the espresso into the shot glass. All right, maybe some localization issues, but... Um, oh, look, it says port a filter up there, but in the, in the description it calls it a spout handle. So this is called a port a filter. This is what you... Put your ground coffee into. Uh, oh, we got to place supplies on the shelves. How do I put this down? I'll click. Okay. Okay, we're going to put our Kenyan coffee here. Very cool. That's our Kenyan. Open your shop and wait for your first customer. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, what is realistic so far? This is an espresso machine. Before you opened your shop as a barista, you definitely want to dial in your espresso because it is pretty finagly um, when you start. So take a mini cup from the cup holder and write customer's name. Okay. Name writing is optional. It is not affecting the customer satisfaction. Okay. Um, that sounds fun though. Okay, your name is T. <laughs> Okay, I did it. Grab a bag of coffee. Uh, 
Wait, I have to put the cup down. Grab a bag of cough. R. You can use the R key to transfer in-game items and liquids to one another. Okay. So we gotta put it... Oh man, it's a freaking hand grinder? Okay, one recommendation. Don't start a coffee shop with a hand grinder. And there's some button mashing. That's awesome. And then we're gonna pour it into the porta filter here. Okay. And we're gonna put that down. We're gonna take the porta filter. We don't have to tamp it. Okay, in the real world, before you put the porta filter into the espresso machine, you have to push the grounds down. The you're making a puck, and you do that with a little tool called a tamper. Um, okay, so we put the porta filter in. We take the shot glass, and okay, and now we start it. Oh, espresso! Look at that, y'all. Look at the crema. Oh, it looks delicious. Okay, so we put 30 grams of coffee in here. That's a lot of coffee. That's a really big porta filter. I don't really think most of the commercial machines right now can handle 30 grams, at least in the specialty world. And this shot is 60 mils. Yeah, it's a pretty big espresso. Okay, we're going to fill it up here. T is a is a hipster and likes straight up coffee. Place it on the order tray and then ring the bell. Nice. After using the spout, you need to, to clean the coffee inside. Okay, that's true. So after you're done making espresso, you have to pick up your porta filter. You have to knock it out. Where's the knock box? Oh, that is a crazy spot for a knock box. And we're gonna can I move these? I'm gonna put this here. Knock boxes so far. Look at the coffee recipe book. Okay. Tripolo. What is this? An intense and espresso based coffee. Mini, you need 90 mils of espresso. Espresso is 30 mils. Dopio is 60 mils. Okay. This seems reasonable. Um, for Americanos, we need to buy a kettle. Okay. I probably wouldn't start a coffee shop with a kettle either. I would use a water tower, but whatever. Um, and then, yeah, I probably get a filter machine. Milk frother. Okay. Go home and save the game. You got it. Now you can freely buy the machines you want and manage your cafe the way you want. Let's go. Oh no, there's a customer. <laughs> But I just, I'm coming. Hello. Hello, Floyd. You need a dopio, huh? Okay. So, we're gonna take the coffee. You know, put it in the grinder. And we're gonna pick this up and grind. Yep. In the real world, this would take a long freaking time to use a hand grinder. All right. We're picking this up and we're putting it in the machine. Set the dosage button as double shot. Okay, great. That makes sense. I was wondering how you could do it. Okay. Can you not put the cup? Okay, that's not exactly how I would like to do it. I would love to just put the cup straight on the, the drip tray. Um, that's usually what you do in a fast cafe. Um, Maybe you're, you know, maybe you're really measuring. We're not using scales right now, so maybe the barista is looking and seeing if we're using volume. Maybe they're looking for 60 mils, which is, you know, I can respect that. That that helps with your consistency a bit. One thing that's uh, severely lacking on this machine is a timer. We should have a little, like, digital timer here that we can click on and off because the time it takes to run the espresso affects the the flavor of the espresso a ton if you run it too short it's going to be under extracted and sour and kind of hollow if you run it too long it's going to be over extracted super bitter and, and ashy tasting a bit um yeah not fun 
Uh, okay, so we have our espresso. We're going to put it in the cup. Can we leave the shot glass here? I don't know why you wouldn't if that's the case. And we're going to put it here and ring the bell. There you go. Customer wrote a review. That's fun. These coffees are a whole nother level. The real barista here. Okay. Hello. How's it going? What can I get for you today? Oh, a dopio. You got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we got our Kenyan coffee. and Put it in here. We're going to grind. Grind the coffee. Going to put it in the port. Oh, shoot. I didn't uh, clean the port of filter. Cool. And we're going to put it in there. Do not forget to clean your porta filters, y'all. We're gonna put the porta filter in here. And it's a dopio. We're gonna start it. So, what brings you in today? This is uh, Mini World's Tavern. What does it say on your shirt? Q Sci Quebec Snack Club. Okay. Who put this trash here? Excuse me. Cool. Um, while that's going, I'm just going to release the computer here. Um, what are the different coffees? Kenyan is not usually the cheapest coffee. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive. Um, can't buy the new machine yet, but whatever. This is, this is taking a while. So this is the real experience, guys. You stand here, let this drop. Usually you're gonna be talking to your uh, regulars. Um, even as you're pouring the espresso in. Thank you, come again. While they're going, you take your porta filter out, you knock it out. And you leave it in the machine. If you don't leave it in the machine, your porta filter is going to get cold. All right. I don't know why the cups have to be in this little thing. Okay. You want a triple low. That's easy. Um, okay. So I don't know. It's weird because I would I would have two hands. So I would have I would leave that porta filter in there. Um, oh, you can hold shift to. We're grinding. We are putting it in the porta filter. And we are gonna take this and make a double shot. While that's going, we're gonna add 30 grams into here again. And we're gonna pick this up and grind. So this is the kind of multitasking you gotta do when you're in a busy cafe. While this shot is going, uh, you gotta you gotta be ready. Um, most shops, I would love to have a second porta filter here so that I could fill it with my grounds while this is going. Um, but that's okay. So we're a little ahead of schedule here. This is the time you're talking to her. Hey, how's it going? How are the kids? It's surprising how much you learn from customers. They wanna talk about their kids and their horrible boss and all this stuff. It's wild. Okay. This is almost done. We're going to add this to our cup and then we're going to pull a single shot to make it a triple low or whatever. Um, okay, picking up. Put it in the cup. Okay. Now we're going to take this out. Container is full. Oh no. Got to empty our knock boxes, huh? Cool. Now we're going to take this. We're going to dump it out. We are going to take our coffee here and we're going to pull a single shot and we're ready to go. I don't love this bar flow. I don't like turning around. I wish I could move the shelves and put them like here maybe like I have a side table here so that I don't have to turn. I can just go left, right, left, right. Um, yeah. 
sometimes you got to walk the floor. We really should uh, fix the toilets because I think that's a health issue. Um, okay, this is done. I'm gonna add that there. And we're gonna serve this troop below. Thanks for coming. 7.30, bright and early, don't need a shower. Oh, we've got a delivery. Oh, it's our new espresso machine, guys. Can we have two? Oh, we can have two! This is a game changer. Okay, I want a little bit of space. Yes! Okay, it can make singles and doubles. The knockbox, we're gonna leave there. Let's leave this right on the edge. Whoa, can go into the wall. A little sketchy. We could give it some space above in front of us. Oh, the cafe is closed. Open. Woo. Okay, now we are ready. Hello. Mm. You would like an espresso. Okay, this is going to be a great day. We're not going to run out of coffee. Open. Aren't you guys proud of this little shop we have? Oh my gosh, we have two espresso machines. One of them is pretty bad. But that's, you know, whatever. They're not lined up or anything. What are you doing here? Hello. Would you like a dopio? Sure. Okay, we're going to test out. Let's use the... Oh, cool. Not the highest quality, but it is what it is. Um, yeah, I would never leave the port of filter in there with the grounds, though. That's another hard to explain, but yeah, I, I want to do that. Let's get some more coffee cups. All right, ma'am, here is your dopio. I would like a dopio as well. So we can take this port of filter, put it in here. I like that they're standardized. Still 60 grams in here. I wish I could know your order. Like, it sucks that I can only have one order queued up um, in my list. I would love to have all of them, and I could make those decisions as far as who to serve, how to serve, I guess, just in general. That'd be really cool. Here's your dopio. What do you want? A dopio again? I'm I'm flying right now. I'm a good barista, guys. Um I don't know what that is. Can someone tell me what's going on there? Do to do to do, just waiting on my coffee. So if I knew the second person's order, I would be able to just start pulling another shot 
Um, I guess technically I could do that, but yeah, it's kind of weird. Also, I wonder if you can get staff in this game. We need a dopio. I think I'm gonna just go ahead and do what I said and pull a second shot. And if we get burned on it, that's fine. I just want to go faster. Second double shot. This is empty. Can't stop it for some reason. I think I have to empty out. For some reason, there's 0.2 grams in there. She wants an espresso, so my plan backfired. Why can't I fill? I think it's a glitch. That sucks. I guess we're going to use the hand grinder. Don't forget to switch it to single shots. Let's go. I'm gonna leave this double shot in here. And yeah, we are flying. If I could use this electric grinder, that'd be so much better. I think my single shot is ready to go. I need a cup. I'm having fun, I'm flying. Mm. Yes, a dopio and a triplo. Okay. This is empty. Oh, this is a dopio. Um You're gonna pull a double. Single shot. Yeah, we're moving. We're moving and grooving. Six hours left in the day. After this, we're going to go get our single. A little inefficient. Triple easy peasy. Here's a double shot. Going. Gotta use our hand grinder again. I am really unentertaining right now. I am just in the freaking zone, man. Single shot. These are both gonna go in here. To keep going, I can just grind again. Can't remember if this knockbox is empty. I've never had a knockbox where I had to clean it this often. Usually it's a huge knockbox. Got the triple ready. Yes, mm. triple O, easy peasy. I, I'm feeling it though. This is pretty fun. Um, hello, are you sad, man? What's going on? We're still going 1556. I think we can grind more. Oh, 
I almost threw it in the trash. Come on, I'm going too fast for these machines now. Okay, what is, oh, Tripolo. I thought it said Orla. I thought that was a coffee that I've never heard of. Okay, we've got a devil going. I was lacking on the grinder here. Can you imagine doing this nine to five or, or worse, like 6.30 to 2.30? This is the barista's life. So if y'all are in the coffee shop, you gotta tip, you gotta tip these great folks that are, are doing an incredible service in making coffee like it is it is a tough your mind is gets really tired from doing this all day um mad respect to the working baristas out there um you know our place in coffee now being like a direct to consumer brand um it's a totally different vibe than a coffee shop uh, we love it but also like coffee shop warriors out there you, you know you know who you are good stuff good stuff you a little crowded here trip below easy oh is it empty Okay, I'm just going to finish this day off and then we can call it. Almost there. Let's get one more grind going. Maybe two, I'm not sure. And imagine, I'm doing this on my computer. This is not uh, physically demanding. But a lot of people, you know, it's 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 demanding. It's it's not. A, sometimes you got bad floors. Sometimes you got to be careful of getting slips going. Uh, it's tough. Sometimes people are really mean. I don't know why people are so mean sometimes. Um, I need a double and a single. leave them here no it, it gets litted if I put it there oh wait there's a temperature and so it does look like you need to have some good there's like a little temperature right there 93 oh, so I bet your reviews will get worse if Oh, triple order. Espresso, triple O, espresso. I know I have to unload. So I need one double and three triples. Okay, so this is the double. And this is the triple. Or the start of a triple, that's a single shot. Gotta keep grinding. Okay. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. She's not going to wait all day. Let's empty this knockbox just in case, because we have time. Okay, this is going to go in the middle one. Now we have to get this going. Okay, tree below is done. Let's just leave it on the on the tray. I don't know if it keeps it warmer, if it's lidded. That'd be really cool if that game did this. This is set to single, so we're good. Oop. Come on, come on. Oh, where did that go? Okay. <laughs> Last shot of the day, last shot of the day, push it. Come on. And a lot of you, this is not even, we're not even doing dishes. We're not doing any deep cleaning. You gotta clean the espresso machines. That's not in this game yet. Man, baristas, tip, please tip them. This is tough. Um, Oh, and there's not even any milk. We're only doing espressos. Imagine in between here, you're frothing milk. You're bending over to uh, to get into the fridges. You got to froth the milk perfectly, which is not automatic. You got to hold it right to, if you want to get that good, good latte art. Oh, man. I'm kind of freaking out about about that. It's, it's uh, a lot of the time, thankless job. And I respect baristas a lot. Keep it up, y'all. Um, and with that, I think I'm going to call it. I'm kind of stressed out because, you know, it, it feels like... <laughs> I know what this was like. It's, uh... Yeah, it's tough. I'm going to order some coffee and... Uh, I wonder... And we're gonna order some uh, a filter coffee machine. Let's let's order one. And we're gonna save the game. That is it, y'all. Um, okay, guys, that was Barista Simulator. It's on Steam for like 15 bucks. It's a little janky, but um, yeah, it was really fun. Some final thoughts. Uh, yeah, number one, it gets a lot of it pretty right. Um, the things that would add to it as, you know, to get the breach to experience really, really. And there is a is a tamping action. That would be really important. Um, being able to know a bit the orders along the line because usually what happens is you have someone at the register taking orders and the orders in your line are going to get through um as like quicker than the people making the coffee um this is if you have two people so that's another part of this game is a lot of breasting is teamwork a lot of communication um if you're really really a high volume cafe you can be like have some one person just pulling shots all day and then one person steaming milk all day. Uh, the really, really high volume, there's like people that just pour. Um, that is really, really, that is really very uh, assembly line style. If you're at that level, that's crazy. That's a fast cafe. You probably have some really good, lots of artists in that group because they're just pouring all day. Um, yeah, so... Some other stuff, like I said earlier, you don't have to worry about dishes. You don't have to worry about deep cleaning. Um, if you're a closer, uh, you got to deep clean the machine and the whole floor, bathrooms. If you're an opener, you got to dial in the coffee. You got to um, turn everything on, make sure everything is working. Um, sometimes you get to the cafe and things are no, no good. And either that's the closer's fault and then you get into a fight with the closer or um, it's just stuff happens. So... Uh, yeah, that, that is a lot of it. Um, I messed up a little bit in there. I didn't have coffee. I had coffee in the back. I just didn't know how to, I had to put it on the shelf. Um, 
Yeah, very fun. So the Mini Worlds ta- Tavern Cafe is... <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> no plans for a brick and mortar right now. Um, maybe one day. That'd be fun. A board game cafe. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for watching. My name has been Chris Porto. I'm a tavern keeper at Mini Worlds Tavern. Uh, like I said, we do not have a brick and mortar, but if you need coffee for your game nights or tea for your tabletop RPG sessions, please look at, look us up, uh, manyworldstavern.com. Uh, we've got a wide range of coffees and nine different teas, some cool merch and mugs and stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.